do you usually have uh, late night writing? Uh? I do occasionally, yeah. occasionally. Um, there's maybe one or two other poems recently that I, I actually, in a way, stayed with the, the work until, I always like to stay with the work until it's actually, I get it sketched in, you know, and uh, then I kind of clean it up a little bit. Um, I never leave anything un unfinished, you know, I just stay with it till the end, and I knew I had to stay with this poem until the end, and, uh, and I realized that it took, it took three drafts to do it. I, didn't, I hardly made any changes at all, but I just wanted a good reading copy that was handwritten, um, which I would then use for the typewriter, you know. Okay. So, and then this, this became the digital copy in the end. And I did make some changes, a little, little bit here and there. Yeah, this is a poem for Bernadette Mayer, um, who is, um, I was told, uh, in a hospice at the moment. Um, I don't know what her condition is, but I always felt that poetry was a good healing partner, a good healing situation for people. Uh, in terms of uh, taking them on a journey the way I went on a journey when I wrote this poem. You know, so it's called Bernadette Mayer Poet. And I invented, I invented this word, wordster, which is W-O-R-D-S-T-E-R. Now that seems so appropriate for Bernadette, actually. Bernadette. How far back were you a babe for me with a nickname like Pigeon? It's summertime. I can almost date us now by the clothes we wore or shorn off, your trademark tightly fit jeans, your hair let loose in a glowing scent, those black and white snapshots you showed me of your uncle's hands. What was his name? of stories yet to be told, retold, which you simply can't recall now, not even misplaced, like so much ever else. Weekends when you cooked us a chili concoction, so sweet by the stove, and whatever else you shared of your personal treasures, like a kid, your ongoing instamatic series experimenting time and place you found so fascinating, revealing until the fascinations wore off and what revealed was the naked truth of yourself your outre the way it was or might have been out of focus of a blue moon on the Upper East Side where was it now? I forget the balmy fire escape no less, and below the city's traffic already subsides. Such details elude me. Forgive me in the face of what those scented mornings must have been, surrounded by silences, tissue thin, those private moments that stayed with us for far too long. We, will, we become each other's myth untrampled, unspoiled, until those smiles of a summer's night by the windowsill remain so. What's left? Yes, we were kids. The memory light obscured but still brilliant.